Alright guys, welcome back to part 5 of episode 4, Amid the Ruins, Walking Dead, season 2. We made it back to camp, and a baby's being made soon. We're chasing after Jane to make sure she's not running off. Let's go talk to Jane. Maybe all she's looking for is just her Tarzan. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Oh, Let's snap. Check out that deck. She called me like partner. Thanks, partner. Resident Evil 5, Sheva. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Bolted shut. This gate's still locked. Or locked, whatever. Hopefully, no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Making an observation. Haha, -ha, pun intended. There's something's in the trash can. Find anything? No, not even trash. Trash digger. Use the telescope. Nothing. I guess it's broken. That one works. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her. No, who's that? Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby? Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. I just thought I was going to talk to him. Hey. I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes. Ah, he speaks English. He's nervous as hell. I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially... Маленькая uh, девочка. Little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. 
Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. He looks like the little teenager from the first season. The Bill or whatever. Will I don't remember his name. No, I have Annoying no as hell. It's a lot of drugs. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are Vuri. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. I'm gonna return it. I don't trust the Russians coming I'm after me. Them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. He said he'll remember that. So I'm guessing we'll see him again. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought you were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. That kid left pretty fast. Arvel. She might be thinking Carvel from Dishonored. Clem, Clem, hey. Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. He had a bunch of medicine and stuff. Jane wanted to take it. Yeah? What did you? Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he said the same thing as me. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Are you any better? Is anyone? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, I didn't mean... I just want to survive. And that means picking the right sides. And Kenny survived the longest here. Who's lost the most? I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Alright, that's the end of part five, guys. 
So we met Arvel, almost stole drugs. Jane was almost going to kill the poor kid. And Luke is being a douche about Kenny still. Not much has changed since episode 2, it seems. But, uh, yeah. Whatever. So, I'll see you guys in part 6 as we return to Kenny and Rebecca.